Everybody, I'd like to introduce you to Hook. This is the tiger shark that was with us on every dive. So this video is kind of a mini documentary of a week-long uh, trip that we did to Tiger Beach uh, off of the Grand Bahama Island in the Bahamas uh, with Eli Martinez and the people from Shark Diver Magazine. Uh, it's a trip I've been thinking about doing for a really long time and uh, got a call one day from Eli saying there was one spot left and just took him up on the offer. So I, I brought my GoPros and uh, tried to edit this movie to kind of show everybody what it was like to not only swim with the tiger sharks, but you know what the entire expedition was like. This was the first time I have uh, ever dove with tiger sharks before. Uh, I probably have about seven or eight shark dives uh, in the past, all with Caribbean reef sharks and nurse sharks. Uh, but this expedition was the first time I ever dove with lemon sharks or tiger sharks. And do us a favor to uh, help promote us. You know, give us the thumbs up. Uh, share the video with your friends on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and uh, make sure you watch the whole thing. So, just got to uh, Florida and we got the boat for the week. We're going out with uh, the guys from Shark Diver Magazine, Eli Martinez, to go dive with tiger sharks all week. I arrived on a Saturday. Uh, I got to the boat early, like around 11, 12 o'clock, uh, they were still stocking up the boat. So I went out to an outdoor store, bought a couple hammocks, uh, and just chilled while uh, everybody else showed up one by one for the week-long expedition to the Bahamas. So my roommate tried to sleep in the hammock last night. Didn't work out because he got beat up. <laughs> That's why I have a face like this. Yeah. <laughs> And the group of divers were awesome. We had people from Norway, Hawaii, Mexico, United States, Serbia. Uh, we all just had so much fun together the entire time. This is our top deck area. Those are the hammocks that uh, my roommate and I bought. Uh, he tried to sleep in his last night, but he ended up smashing uh, into that thing to the right of his hammock. So I think he joined the room around three o'clock last night. Uh, I, I've slept pretty well, but I After the captain uh, checked us into customs in the Bahamas, uh, we just turned right back around and headed four hours back towards Florida, towards, uh, t towards Tiger Beach, which was going to be our dive site for the week. Yeah, we just got to Tiger Beach, and instead of people freaking out because, oh my god, there's sharks in the water, they're freaking out because they want to see the sharks in the water, and they want to go dive with them. <laughs> and we're going swimming in 10 minutes. <laughs> so the actual dive site of Tiger Beach, uh, they really treat it as a warm-up dive. Uh, there were no tiger sharks at this dive site. All the tiger sharks were going to be at the next dive site called Fishtails. Uh, this was kind of a warm-up dive around a bunch of lemon sharks uh, and reef sharks uh, with one nurse shark in it. And of course, you know, even after the dive briefing, they said there's probably not going to be tiger sharks. The entire time we're down on the first dive, all I'm doing is turning around left and right, looking for tiger sharks behind me and around me. And the lemon sharks are fun. And they're, they're pretty cool to deal with. but. Uh, you know, I'm constantly scanning behind, like looking for the tiger shark to come sneaking up behind me just because of all the YouTube videos I've seen. Uh, but again, you know, at uh, this first dive site, there were no tiger sharks. It was all lemon sharks and reef sharks, but a lot of fun. The lemon sharks were really, really cool. Uh, this was my first time I ever dove with lemon sharks, so this was like my first experience with them. Uh, but they're every bit of eight, nine feet long, uh, which is sizably larger than the reef sharks that I'm used to. Uh, and they, you can see their teeth. So, you know, for the first time diving with them, it's a little intimidating because, you know, they can get kind of big. Uh, and I was paying pretty close attention, but it didn't take long to get real comfortable with them. Uh, and, you know, once you just completely lose the fear, they were a lot of fun. I was watching uh, one of the guys from Norway was interacting with them, petting their nose. You know, later on in this video, I actually stepped on a lemon shark by accident when I was backing up away from a tiger shark and it didn't do anything. 
I'm 200 pounds and I literally stepped on a lemon shark's head. Uh, so it's, you know, they're very cool sharks and a lot of fun to dive with. And I had to include this footage in here. Uh, the first shark I've ever seen in the ocean was a nurse shark when I was in Belize 10 or 11 years ago. Uh, and, you know, for whatever reason, I just think nurse sharks are the coolest sharks there are. So we had a nice big nurse shark, you know, feeding off the bait box. Uh, I just thought I had to include it. This was my first experience on a dive boat, and uh, the best way to sum it up is it's eat, sleep, dive, repeat. Right here. Hey, we're moving. And even at night, we just all hang out in the back of the boat, you know, playing with the sharks, with our lights, just watching them. They're just mesmerizing, literally just nonstop, you know, for a oh, solid yeah. week, looking at uh, sharks all day long. Starting on day three, it was tiger sharks, four dives a day. So it's like 7 a.m. on Monday morning, and we got up early to come visit our friends. Wait, am I really gonna do this? There's tiger sharks down there. There's the first tiger shark, and I did not even see her. But now I'm not gonna take my eyes off of her. So truth be told, I am as scared as I can possibly be right now. This is the first time I've ever seen a tiger shark in the wild. I don't know what to expect and uh, I'm nervous. My heart's coming out of my chest right now. I've dove with reef sharks several times in the past and seen nurse sharks before, but I've never seen a tiger until right now. This is our first dive with tiger sharks and the first tiger shark to show up is Hook. She is a 12 foot female tiger shark. Uh, turns out all the tiger sharks uh, that Eli has ever seen are females. He's never seen a male but Hook is a 12 footer and uh, she tends to stand up to some of the other larger tiger sharks that we'll see later on in this uh, video, uh, Emma and Cinnamon specifically. But Hook uh, basically showed up for every dive that we ever had. I, I do believe she was in every single dive, 15 or 16 dives with tiger sharks that we had uh, throughout the entire week. And that Hook's in every one of them. This was also uh, kind of exciting. Uh, scuba divers understand that anytime you go down, when you come back up uh, at 15 feet of water, you have to do a three minute safety stop hanging on the drop line. So this was my first safety stop, knowing that there's a tiger shark in the water. And I'm just looking all around. I, I really don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do if the tiger shark comes up to me at this point in time. And in between dives, we just like to play with the sharks right off the back of the boat. I'm just putting my GoPro right in the water uh, off the back of the boat here. So we dive with the tiger sharks, you know, four times a day over several days. Uh, and after a couple times, you, you start to get pretty comfortable with them. Uh, as you can tell, they they do come in pretty close. And you can literally just reach out and touch them, uh, or push them away, or whatever. Uh, but they do. They they swim right right over you, right behind you, right in front of you uh, all the time. As you can tell, they're just really not that interested in 
trying to be mindless killing machines that uh, everybody portrays them to be. Uh, they're really just interested in the in the free fish that uh, Eli has for them. That's all. And this is where Eli sees Emma, the uh, queen of Tiger Beach, for the first time on our trip. Emma's the biggest shark in the area. Uh, she's every bit of you know, 14, 15 feet long. Uh, I think I've heard Eli say that uh, she's almost 2,000 pounds, whereas other sharks, uh, the smaller ones like Hook, Princess, and New Girl are, are closer to 1,000 pounds. Uh, Emma's very pregnant right now, uh, so you can see she's got a, a very big belly. But uh, yeah, she's, she's hands down the biggest shark. Uh, Cinnamon was probably the second largest shark. Uh, truth be told, I'm not really great at identifying the individual sharks like some of the other divers were. Uh, they all knew which sharks were there all the time. I still, after editing this video for hundreds of hours, uh, can't really tell the difference between uh, princess or new girl. Uh, but uh, Emma, I can always tell. Cinnamon, you can tell just because she's so big. And Hook, you can tell because of the jaw. She's got kind of a deformed jaw from, uh, I guess, from a fisherman. This was probably our second or third dive with tiger sharks at this point in time. And I'm already having a bunch of questions in my head about uh, why is it that I was just so scared of tiger sharks. I never lost respect for what they could do, and I, I tried really hard not to put myself into harm's way, although I did leave the group one time early and had to follow me into open water that kind of scared me. But, uh, you know, as long as you follow the rules and respect what they can do and, and understand it is their domain, I felt relatively safe. Uh, I understand they're predators and, and they are capable of doing a lot of damage, but uh, I felt pretty safe the entire time. And everybody said that uh, once the tiger sharks uh, came around that you just lose sight of the lemon sharks and the reef sharks. As you can see here, there's a nine foot lemon shark hanging out and nobody sees it at all. Nobody pays attention to it. I also hope it's not lost on you as a viewer to realize just how calm and crystal clear and beautiful the water was for us during this trip. We're literally out in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, 25 miles from the Bahamas and 40 miles from Florida. And it's just calm, clear, and cool. This was pretty cool. Eli put a uh, GoPro camera uh, on a little fin mount uh, onto Hook. I think he said that Hook was the only one he trusted not to run away with his GoPro camera uh, since she had pretty much been on, on every dive that we had been to so far. So he just attached a GoPro to her fin. Uh, and you'll watch later on if he takes it off. Uh, but uh, that'd be some cool footage to have.
this was kind of cool. I, uh, dive buddy and I switched cameras for this guy. He was a surgeon from Belgium living in France, as he liked to put it. And, uh, that's me using his camera. Another example of Hook, you know, does not play uh, around here. She will bite anybody, and uh, she, she really just holds her own against all the tiger sharks on, on Tiger Beach. It took me a few dives to figure out where the best spots for all the dives were. Uh, I'm not a genius, but eventually I figured out that uh, if I wanted the best pictures, I should probably sit next to uh, Mari and Ramon, his uh, wife and, and good friend, uh, with cameras, who've probably done more diving with them than anybody else. So for most of the rest of the video, I, I kind of stick close to them to get the best shots. It's just a really cool shot, just to remind you just how big some of these tiger sharks really are down there. And this is just a, yeah, one more example of showing how Hook just really holds her own down there. She's not afraid to nip at uh, all the other tiger sharks, big and small. I don't know about the other divers, but on dives where there's multiple tiger sharks, I'm non-stop counting where the tiger sharks are. So if I know there's four down there or three down there, I'm constantly going one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, up. where's four? You know, dang, looking for it. Uh, and that's pretty much what I'm doing the entire time when there's multiple tigers down there, just, just counting where they all are at all times. I thought I'd just kind of point out really how amazing Eli is down there. Uh, you know, I saw him with up to five tiger sharks at one time. And not only is he keeping track of all the tiger sharks for his own safety, but he's also really doing a fantastic job of watching kind of like the outer rim behind all the divers uh, for the tiger sharks that might be coming up behind divers and letting people know like he just did there. Uh, so Eli, just for me, you know, thank you for, you know, obviously, a wonderful experience, but also for keeping everybody safe during the entire thing. I'm not uh, affiliated with them in any way, but uh, I am a supporter. So if you are a scuba diver, a fan of sharks, or, or really just a fan of the ocean, uh, consider supporting Project Aware. Uh, you, know, you can make as little as I think a $25 donation or, or even more. Uh, last year we raised several thousand dollars for them, uh, but you know, I'm putting a link up here. Uh, if you're a fan of the oceans at all, you consider just uh, taking time out of your day and, and donating a little bit of money to Project Aware to help save the sharks. Out. We got a tiger shark at the surface finally. Tiger. The 
tiger sharks tend to, uh, at the end of the feed, to like go investigate all the divers. Like they're, you know, they can still smell the fish. They know it's around, so they're just kind of looking all over the place. You can see the boxes empty back there, and they don't like it being empty, so they can still smell the fish. So they're just kind of rooting around for it. One of the toughest parts of this dive for me was uh, paying attention to the tiger sharks, especially when we had multiple tiger sharks uh, that were kind of in what I referred to as the outer rim. Uh, the tiger sharks typically approached Eli and the box with the bait in it from you know down the current. They were always swimming up current because uh, the fish smell was obviously going down the current. Uh, and after they you know interact with Eli, they'd kind of branch off and either circle back uh, in front of us or just behind us until they picked up the scent again, then they come turn around and go right back to Eli again. But a lot of times when they branched off and went behind us, they were really, really good at heading out towards us, what I referred to as the outer rim, which is literally just beyond where I could see them. You know, their, their camouflage uh, was just so good that I just couldn't pay attention to or really keep track of where they were. And, and I kind of knew that they were like right at that spot where I just couldn't see them anymore. And all of a sudden, you know, they'd pop back in and they're, you know, 10 feet behind you again. <laughs> It also got difficult sometimes uh, with multiple tiger sharks when uh, most of the time they're kind of hanging out on the floor of the ocean, swimming either in front of you or just behind you, uh, coming up to Eli and interacting and then going back down current, catching the scent, coming back up. And when they're on the floor of the ocean, that's easy. But when they go three-dimensional every once in a while and you have to pay attention to above you in the ocean, it just becomes a lot more difficult uh, as a diver to keep track of all of them. And Eli is uh, really good at rolling these sharks and it just, it never gets old to see it each time. Uh, later on in this video, uh, towards the end, I put a bunch of rolls all together that were uh, really close up. So uh, make sure you watch towards the end because that's kind of, I think, the best part of the whole video. Back of the boat. Beautiful. Swim right under. Probably grab right the here. Right here. Yep. Look at that. Ah. Yeah, buddy. Get that. Hey, Eli. Yeah. Right here. Nice. Oh, yeah. 
Ладно, ладно. О, это Ромосина, like, I love it. Give me more. It's the best. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're gonna see the shit we give to the boys. I can only imagine. You're sitting oh. there smelling that. Oh my God, we're puking the water. Oh. This was hands down my favorite moment of the entire trip. Uh, we're down there, and nobody knew it was coming, uh, I'm guessing except for Connor and Eli. Uh, Connor's one of the guys working on the boat and he's been snorkeling for a lot of the dives uh, at the top with uh, KJ, one of the other people on the boat. And uh, he just free dived down, no tank of oxygen, hung out, waited to feed a tiger shark, and chilled for a second then took off. And it was just, I think, one of the more impressive things I've ever seen uh, in the water. And again, uh, this is at the end of a dive. I think when you guys run out of fish and the tiger sharks just start going to explore the divers to uh, see where, who has the fish. Like, you know, they're just kind of rooting around going, do you have the fish? Do you have the fish? Do you have the fish? And that's probably the uh, the most interaction I've, I've personally had with the tiger shark the entire trip, just kind of pushing it off. But when you're pushing it off, you really do feel just how strong a thousand pound uh, animal is. This is kind of cool. If you follow Eli on uh, Facebook or YouTube, he recently put out a uh, film of a uh, compilation of tiger shark rolls that he's done. And one of them he did, or a couple he did from the tiger shark's point of view. That was one of the rolls that he used in that film. And if you're like me and have been watching his uh, videos online for several years, that's Mater, uh, his wife. She's the one who's taking all the cool video footage that uh, all of us watch online all the time. Uh, in this dive, I just happen to be right next to her, so there's a lot of video footage of her uh, catching all the stuff that we normally watch online. Again, that's uh, Ramon, Eli's good friend, who works at Phantom Divers in Playa del Carmen, uh, Mexico. He hand feeds bull sharks all the time. Uh, I haven't done the dive yet, but uh, you better believe, uh, just if not just to go visit Ramon again. Uh, next time I'm in Mexico, I'll, I'm gonna go hit up Phantom Divers at Playa del Carmen. Well, actually, that's what I think. I think I might have gotten that. <laughs> so we just completed day four of diving and had four tiger sharks in the last one. It got a little crazy at the end, but uh, everybody survived all good. I don't know what's cooler. Uh, you know, the fact that we've done let's see, 4, 8, 12, 14 dives already in 4 days, or just how insanely glass calm the ocean is. I mean, we're 25 miles from the Bahamas and 44 miles from Florida, uh, literally out in the middle of the ocean. And it's been calm, just about this calm the entire time. So are all you guys having a good trip or what? Oh yeah! yeah. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yeah! T minus two minutes till survey says. Hey!
Bad <laughs> beat. <laughs> Not gonna see another sunset. Again, just based on the size of that shark and, and her belly, that's Emma. In case you really needed a reminder as to just how big Emma really is. And I'm pretty sure that's Cinnamon there. Uh, I got the pleasure of naming Cinnamon. Uh, it was a new 14 foot female tiger shark that uh, Eli had never seen before. Uh, she was named after a night of Cinnamon Toast Crunch shots the night before. So if you want to know how smart sharks are, Eli's no longer feeding. He switched places with Connor from the boat, but the sharks are still coming to Eli, looking for the fish. Uh, I, you know, the question is, does he smell like fish or do they recognize him? Yeah, I just love this dive, uh, not only because we had Emma and Cinnamon, the two biggest uh, tiger sharks from the entire trip together, but just I really liked having the reef uh, right there to the right, kind of kept everything a little more uh, closer in. Uh, everybody was just a little more interactive with the sharks. And we really got to see Cinnamon, uh, who was kind of the quote unquote wilder of all the sharks. She didn't really know the gist of, you know, she hasn't really worked with Eli a whole bunch in the past or some of the other shark feeders. So she was a little more on the wild side. Uh, so everybody was kind of obviously paying attention to Emma just because she's so big, but uh, paying attention to Cinnamon quite a bit more just because in my head, that's, that's what a true wild tiger shark acts like.
So I thought uh, towards the end of this video here that I would just put some of the cooler uh, rolls that Eli did with Tiger Sharks back to back. Uh, this is what I think is my best footage of the whole uh, trip. And this was cool, on the uh, last day of diving, uh, Eli let Ramon uh, do some feeding of the tiger sharks. Uh, like I said, Ramon's a uh, bull shark feeder at Phantom Divers in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Uh, but it was cool to watch him get a chance to uh, feed and interact with the tiger sharks as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going on. Uh, great trip. Oh, it's awesome. Amazing. Beyond, yeah. beyond anything I could have imagined. What's your favorite memory? Uh, when I was naked. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, I'm sorry. It's a different story. At night I was on know. YouTube. We, no, we pinky swore on that. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite memory was Eli on top of of a cinnamon, riding her like he's like he was in the rodeo, yeah. riding a bull again with her going thrashing back and forth, not moving at all, and about being about four feet away from that. That was that was my memory, because that is calm and as smooth and as easy as they move. You got to see what one when looks like when she's pissed off. Yeah. I think mine just and how crazy Eli is because he wouldn't let go. Mine is just jumped in the very first time in the water, and all you can see was sharks. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> My favorite memory is a tiger shark who went for me, and I didn't see him. <laughs> so everything's fine. Well, I was gonna say in the scheme of things, that's fine. beautiful. Yeah, Everyone, I won't have any nightmares. Everyone went. I will go try diving again. Yeah. 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 Actually, you know what my favorite memory is when I come back the third time. No, 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 no. They roll up. He was inside. Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. 